spotlight at the recent political conventions. But a new study released Monday by the National Advancement Project suggests that up to 10 million Latino voters' voices may be being silenced due to new laws being passed or actions being taken nationally, including some concerns here in North Carolina. It has asked for access to the federal safe database, which is federal immigration data, and specifically in order to compare its voter rolls. It hasn't done that yet. We certainly hope that it does not, but it's a place where we feel like Latino voters could possibly be intimidated. For now, a coalition of advocacy groups is hoping to get Latino voices heard in time for Election Day this November. Loretta Benitti, News 14, Carolina. A number of advocacy groups are working together to put on these voter registration drives across the state. The state legislative ethics committee has set new guidelines regarding inappropriate and unethical behavior. The new policy says legislative employees who serve at the will of a lawmaker should not date or be sexually involved with registered lobbyists or state agency liaisons unless it is disclosed to the legislator. Dating relationships are defined in the new rules. They come following the resignation of two staffers who worked for Speaker Tom Tillis. Both were involved in relationships with lobbyists. All right, stay with us. Sports is next here on News 14 Carolina on ABC 45 and also in our Carolina Minute. Charges against two North Carolina based Marines accused of desecrating bodies in Afghanistan. The new Acura ILX is the first and only compact luxury sedan with standard keyless access, Pandora Internet Radio, plus SMS text messaging that converts.